Welcome back to Kidzito Sometimes, finally. We're back. I'm back. We're back. I, I'm back. <laughs> He's me. It's... He's me, I'm back. Who was that? I don't know. I just, you always say it all the time. It's me. Is it Borat? I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something that Borat would say. I don't know what accents we were opening there. I was like, I haven't heard this one before. It's but we me. are back. A dentist tried to kill me, then COVID, then COVID again, then exams with Chloe, weddings we didn't want to go to. Joking. <laughs> um, we're back. It's fantastic. Are you excited, Chloe? I'm so excited. It feels so weird. I looked at you and I honestly don't know what your name was for a bit. <laughs> I was like, this what? is not good. They're like, no, but they haven't seen each other for long. <laughs> 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 That's also. I uh, also I feel like Kit stopped when I moved in. It I did. Feel like there was that correlation for some reason. Well, because we got sick. Yeah. Got yeah. sick. So basically, Sam had his his dentist didn't try and kill him. Okay, he got his wisdom teeth taken out, mm -hmm. and then I was sick. He was sick, and then I finished my degree now, which is very exciting. So mm. full time at Kit. Full well, no, not full time at Kets at all. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have more time, but Kets is not full time, sadly, yet. Yet. Oh, also, so obviously we're back in our regular studio today, but we've been posting some clips from another podcast that oh, we do it's disheartening. Called, called Two Cents, which is obviously a whole different podcast, whole different setup. What do we get paid for? That's why you've seen that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and people are like, damn, I like, love the new studio setup and all that stuff. We're like, you can prepare to be disappointed. Yeesh. <laughs> I know. I thought, yeah. I thought, and I thought that's our studio was like, like such a great factor about the show and mm. people are obviously looking for something new we are trying to build a studio which is exciting yes but it will also take time so we don't want to further delay and not put stuff out while we still can yeah and there's also been a lot happening like i felt we missed some crazy news opportunities we did and for that we can only blame ourselves and dentists degrees doctors and a global pandemic wow pandemic but uh, we we move on, and it's I've got some big announcements. <clears throat> I'm on creatine. <laughs> we're on creatine. That's no, that's like saying we're pregnant. I'm on creatine. We're pregnant. You just get the benefits like a child. <laughs> I mean, like a mom with a child and a dad saying we're pregnant. You're not pregnant. <laughs> You're just a sperm donor. Okay. But no, it's very exciting. Uh, I'm, I, I watched, we watched a video. We are on creatine. We watched a video that convinced us to do it. It was just one that you did, it didn't need to convince you because you want to do it and then it just tells you all the stuff you yeah. want to do. There were no side effects mentioned. It, this guy was like, I'm a scientist. We're like, okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Cool. It felt very naughty though. Like, I think also because of all the misconceptions about creatine and, you know, people saying that you have to cycle it. it, it I think it sort of feels like it's a steroid. And um, Sam and I were both ready to take our first scoop and we go... This feels wrong. It felt naughty. This feels naughty. But, but on the topic of is this person a scientist, I was I wanted to know, <laughs> is Bill Nye a scientist? Because oh. you always... So I googled him and it says he's an American engineer. So he is... Um, That's He's not a scientist then, is he? Bill, Bill Nye, Nye, the engineer guy. guy. Uh, <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> that was your... There was nothing... Damn, soccer, so you're sweating at break. And you come home, you're like, oh, the science lesson's going to be... You don't come home, you go to the class. The science lesson's going to be terrible. And then the teacher puts on Bill Nye. It's Never fantastic. happened to me, I must say. I never heard, Richie, eat your crust. Because it's the, the crust of... Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. Anyway, so he's not. Is Bill Nye a real scientist? Really? No. No. Well, I mean, wow. we just said that. What did you... Did you <laughs> no, I thought like maybe he was an engineer and then... I it don't depends know, what you think. Is, uh, that was also what the article said. What do you define as a scientist? But we've also had some great reviews. Yes. Some people, new people, because yes. I think that's why we also stopped because the social media stuff was doing very well. So we're like, we're still doing stuff, but we, we weren't doing anything. I think also it naturally happens. The same sort of thing happened to us at the end of last year was like a sort of burnout oh yeah and you then sort of take a break and you're like damn i needed this so it's like you know you re i really know what it's like to hand out flyers even i've never handed out flyers for a day it's tiring because you're giving people stuff for free 
Sometimes they chuck it in the bin. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even take it. Also, the man in the street stuff gives me serious burnout. That like, mm. hey. But you're great at it, though. Uh, yes, it's true. It's but, uh, true. <laughs> no, I, just I really, I really don't enjoy doing it. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, Noted. it's a good thing we contractually <laughs> obligated to do tons of those things. Life just, is suffering. Just, just know that it's pain. But anyways, I did want to read some of the oh, yeah, reviews. Oh yeah, because we stopped reading them out. Yeah, yeah, let's read them out. Well, to to be fair, guys, we only Premier read five one. star ones. Four star ones dead to us. So. I haven't. Ever, I have never seen us. Sorry, I don't even know how to speak on the mic anymore. I just, uh, uh, have never <laughs> I said I said <laughs> what the fuck was how can I just uh, no mic technique after I suppose it's been like a month and a bit even longer two months I think it's yeah I think Close it's been six weeks no oh, that's yeah. crazy I said I said I said okay but <laughs> the first one says um, I said I said <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Raynaud and five stars. He said, discovered this podcast a while back and now recommending to everyone. I'd love to be on this podcast. I haven't contributed much to society. <laughs> Sitting in a room with these two could literally cure depression. Feel like they need a, I don't know, gay host too, I'm assuming, like me. Five stars. That's a painting nails, Claire. It wasn't a wrist thing. No, it's like a, it's like this. Oh boy. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Well, that was a roller coaster of a review, as it these was. often are. Um, weirdly, people always say they're like, I couldn't be on the podcast, but I want to be on the podcast. We get that a lot. They're like, I don't do anything fun, but I want to be on the podcast. It's like reverse psychology, though. It's like, don't have me on the podcast. You're like, hmm, maybe we should. No, people that is a- really want us to get Chad on the podcast. I don't know where Chad lives. Me neither. <laughs> but anyway, but that is a nice... Thank you, Reynard. That's very kind of you. Um, I assume Reynard. Yeah, we've also got a concerning one, which says, can't stop listening. <laughs> Sounds can't like stop. you have a problem. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't, like, mm. literally can't stop listening. Um, maybe a cry for help. Absolutely love this podcast and the kids team. Funny, informative-ish, and easy to listen to. True. It's a bit like... You know, I was 14 years old and you're in bed, it's about half past four after school. Yeah. And your mom's like, I've made lunch and maybe you're perusing pornography. Yeah, at 14. Yeah, and then wow. you shout downstairs, I'm coming. And you- Ew, Samuel. What? Because you- <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> This podcast should just be like renamed I some sort of like thoughts. messed up thing that you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> no, you laughed a bit too hard at that. <laughs> Ew. Dad came home, shake your hands. Shake. Oh, sticky. <laughs> Sus, man. Yo. This is why I was, Did you guys miss us? I nearly applied to be a teacher just because I think I, I'd love to be why a teacher. Is this one of the what? <laughs> we do a masturbation. I nearly applied to be a teacher. <laughs> no, but I feel I couldn't then come and say stuff like this on a podcast. You know what I've to take all the dick related jokes out. I don't know. I saw I saw someone at TikTok and they were like, I'm a teacher and a kid in my class makes an like inappropriate joke and you have to hold back the laughter. <laughs> like I just wouldn't be able to, but you have to. You have to. You can't. You so can't be out here. There goes that career opportunity for you. Miss Angela or something. <gasps> what about her? Do you remember her? What? Um, she's from TikTok. She's fantastic. She teaches at Westerford. Oh, I think Angela. she tries to. Oh, what? I thought you were talking about the talking cat. Did you say Angela? Did you say her name? Miss Angela. You. Yeah. I've been reading it, Miss Angler, this whole time. Apologies. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but she always like, oh, a secret identity where I teach. She's a teacher at Westerford. <gasps> so if you're a creepy enough guy or girl, <laughs> we know you out there. Apply to go to Westerford. Now I feel like I'm revealing industry secrets. I'm pretty sure it was common knowledge she taught at Westerford because my sister had her and she said she was a fantastic teacher. I think we should have on the podcast. She would be awesome to have on the mm. podcast. 
and my brother's writing maths lit today or to, what? Oh no no, that was yesterday. I forgot to send him. <laughs> How do you wish someone well for maths lit? You know they can't read, so you just have to send a voice note. <laughs> no, that's 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 an old fashioned joke. Uh, he showed <laughs> he showed me some of these things. He's like, "Okay, can you help me?" And I just I looked at it and I couldn't. I I don't know how people are writing exams. I mean, I know that you have to to pass, of course. Come on. But what do you mean you don't know how people are writing? But I don't know exams? like if I think back to being in matric like to write and it's not even just once. Like you have to do it three times in the space of a year, write 12 exams. Mm. That's insane. Yeah. And it's often for 3 hour periods. Like I wrote an exam last week and I had to sit still for three hours. And I mean, an hour in, I was like, I'm done. Like, yeah. I just don't have the capacity to... The world to stay there literally yeah. leaves your hand and you start, like, just scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, it's very stressful as well. Yeah. Um, I, I remember, I liked exams. I don't think I'd worked out how important they were yet. Probably, f- like, for the best. The, the one thing I remember about matric finals, you all used to sit in rows. And uh, me and my two friends... Kirk and Jordan, our biggest like entertaining thing was like who could slap the other one in the face with a ruler? You know those those like toffee rulers or whatever, those whippy p- Oh, so those like shadow had, proof yeah. ones. No, no, no. Gee, you could blind someone with it. It was like a whip. Oh. Uh, like like a oh, like a flop. Like, like a tongue. <laughs> it's like a, and it's I just like remember a- before a maths paper, Jordan smacked Kirk in the face so hard and then Kirk checked this is like jury matric finals. Kirk did very well. He's an actuary. Um, Jordan and I probably should have been paying more attention. (laughs) (laughs) No, man. Good times, good times. But the Department of Basic Education, so basic, um, it says they're very worried (laughs) about this year. And that's scary. That's like your teacher, like, all right, guys, test tomorrow. I'm going to have a sleepless night because I know about some of you. I hated it when teachers said that, when they're like, I'm worried about you guys. And I'd always be like, why? Yeah. (laughs) We saw you smoking at first break. We worried about you, you silly little thing. (laughs) Too real. You called someone silly little bitch. It was referring to a man, by the way, but I thought too strong. Well, about, you said it anyway. So <laughs> that's true. I do a lot of that. I'm like, you, I was about you, to say, and then I just say exactly you what. You let your intrusive thoughts win daily. At what point are they not just who I am then? Exactly. Exactly. Just but Sammy thoughts. Um, Sammy thoughts. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I'm coming. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. Gross. Chloe, you brought it, yeah. Okay. Um, no, but going back to. Um, creatine. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to get some of creatine. So it's, it's, just, it's just too much. Another side effect: being ridiculously ripped. I mean, <laughs> no, no, come on. No. Chloe's got good arms. No, I don't. It's okay. You should see her toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a mess. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to come back to matric. Um, and matric what, finals. are you going to have a rewrite? <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather, I'd just give it up. I'd be like, I'd, guys, I tried. I've, <laughs> I gave him my all, never again. But yeah, matric finals, they're underway. I, I wanted to touch on why I think that these students are struggling. And I think it's the similar reason to why I think I felt like I struggled in my third year was in grade 10 or in first year, COVID hit. Oh. So you then had COVID. I thought you were going to say you grew up in a township. I was like, that would have been hard. I mean, that's super hard as well. But in terms of the stuff no, of that course. this country's been through. Why did you make it real? I was, it was more a joke because you hadn't. Okay. Okay. I see, you know, chemistry <laughs> was not a subject I took either. <laughs> we'll get there. Ooh, you could just eat it all up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, sorry. It's a tough time. You were going, I was trying to make light of it. You were going serious. Let's get okay. back to the serious. Yes. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm just saying the amount of stuff that this country's faced in the last two, three years, they've been, like I said, was saying COVID, um, load shedding, there's been floods, there's been all sorts, national shutdowns. I'd be concerned too. Yeah. No. And and you're online learning. It's always, it's, it's very hard. It always, the bishops, the St. John's, the St. Mary's, all the rich schools and private are fine because there's yeah. a you get offset r.i.p takeoff but um <laughs> everything is you know you don't feel the effects of that because you go home 
your lights on off because your family has a generator. Yeah. Your teachers are drunk or your teacher sucks. Doesn't matter. You get five tutors. So it's always the, the you know, the most disenfranchised and marginalized that get affected. But, you know, it's it's pretty depressing. Mm. You see, this is why I try to make it jokes. <laughs> now you want it, you want real takes here. It's all, it's all terrible. But uh, Musi Mayamani, um don't know what he's doing. He's made his own party. Um, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Thrilling. Um, he, <laughs> Truly. he has literally said the bachelor's pass for matric is not a reliable benchmark for our education system. So this is Musi Mayamani. Um, a co- former DA member. I don't know what his new party <laughs> is called. Former head of the DA. Is, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. But, uh, you know, a bit. <sighs> why don't you say that after the... Exam. I know, not yeah. before like the kids like well, well fuck me right thanks <laughs> i guess i'll just become a politician yeah. <laughs> doesn't seem like it needs much of anything um i remember i didn't know the difference between a bachelor's pass and a bachelor's degree a big <laughs> several years <laughs> yeah, a couple, couple years difference and i remember being so upset that i got a bachelor's pass and not a bachelor's degree um, in madrid <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you should have got a maybe a that fail. bachelor's pass was scraping it. But have you ever cheated on a test or an exam? No. Have you? I you know, I've always been the assist cheater. Okay. So Jordan, who I was speaking about, ruler boy, um, he would cheat <laughs> a lot off me. But we it was organized, like in exams in especially economics, he would sit behind me, I'd move there. And then, you know, he killed the multiple choice. And when it came to his essay writing, he, he struggled. <laughs> He'd be the first to admit that. Um, but no. Uh, yeah, You've I, never cheated. Um, no. I, oh, actually, no. When first year of varsity, I cheated on every um, math test I wrote. But that guy in front of me was also fucking dumb because I had to change <laughs> subjects. <laughs> I was like, damn, I should have guessed myself. <laughs> this guy's dumber than I am. I was the type of person to literally write my tests like this. Like, yeah, you you would have like, told on someone if you saw them cheating. 100%. Uh, uh, <laughs> the worst. It's a, you got to get, get secure the bag. I only, yeah, no, I, I, not a big one. My dad was like literally photocopying matric papers, but show you things were different back then. <laughs> they were, yeah. Way back then. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's also um, uh, trade union action trying to shut down, you know, airports. Mm. Uh, it's, I, I think it's a public servants protest. So all around people in, involved in public office. Mm. So they've threatened to disrupt exams and they, they're literally called the public servants association and scheduled for Thursday. And they said to cripple the national senior certificate examination ports of entry and courts across South Africa. And this is what one of their spokes people said. As much as we do not want to disrupt the exams, this is not to blame on trade unions. Okay. <laughs> Surely it's the people like doing the... Dis- anyway, this is to blame on the government. For some time they have dragged their feet. We cannot be blackmailed as trade unions that we cannot disrupt the exams. <laughs> <laughs> is that like you cannot fucking blackmail us we're gonna blackmail the fucking kids fuck you who did you even think you were to even think of blackmailing us hey you can't go to school <laughs> ah! <laughs> no on, only oh, in yeah. south africa only. with some with the spokesperson or the leader of the movement say something that's stupid yeah in, like i just think imagine you've just you've studied so hard right and then your exam gets disrupted. Like it happened, it happened this year at UCT. People were literally coming and just like wiping papers off the desks. Like For it, me, it depends it, what exam it was. English paper one, I'm holding on to that thing. I've creamed it. <laughs> Maths paper two. Ta ta. <laughs> you can take it. <laughs> take it away. Make sure you take take this one. <laughs> um, no, but it is it's a but it's that whole thing and uh it is around the I think um a public servants also a weird name 2022 right um <laughs> it was much better than being a private servant <laughs> i'll tell you that much <laughs> apparently slavery is at its all-time high yeah i don't is. know who told me that but i've it been is. saying that at certain brides and get-togethers <laughs> along with <laughs> yeah. the socioeconomic um i don't know whatever but 
I've, I saw that it was because of it's been denied for the 3% increase in wages um, in, to do with inflation. That's what they're protesting uh, against. Yes. So oh, that it's, was, it's, that's that was not high denied. Enough. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and um, 3% doesn't sound high enough. So you mm. get that, but then you also go, uh, how can you... you you know, the future of South Africa, you're literally playing with, with these metric no, exams. No, it's a joke. Like, why why in protesting would you, I don't know, just mess up the opportunities for so many yeah. kids writing? No, I know. It's, I suppose it's... And wanting to get jobs. Ugh. It's messy. But um, <laughs> yeah. Maleka said that the impact of the strike would be felt largely at the departments of Home Affairs. And this is when I was like, <laughs> okay, well, what do you mean? Like, people stop working at Home Affairs the same amount of output happens. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I'll still have to wait three years for unabridged birth certificates. I mean, that is the most... They, they should, Too much, this is it, I quit. You know what they should have been? We're going to make home affairs work, then everyone would be like, that's fucked it's up. It's too much. That's fucked it's up. It's too much. Rather go protest at the schools. <laughs> so it's, it's all messy if here. If home affairs went on strike, would anyone notice? No, sir. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> no. But someone who you know, needs to wake up and smell the coffee is Cyril Ramaphosa. Yo. You thought Cyril, you had a break, Cyril. huh? <laughs> you thought the leading duo investigative journalist team were off your ass, <laughs> but we're on your ass. <laughs> like a tick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're coming on your ass. Ah, oh, God. I meant we're coming for your ass. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so Cyril, again, this is sort of stuff that's happened since we've been gone, but he's responded. <laughs> Bad singing? Okay, or? sing a line. This is it. This is it. Sing a line of any song. Any, any, sing geez. a line of any song <laughs> that you want to sing. <laughs> Just sing it. <laughs> and did you sound with his retainer? I have been wearing this because no, no, go it, I've got a theory that it makes me sick. <laughs> Reply in the comments about that. <laughs> I'm so but, neurotic that he thinks that'll make him sick and certain plants as well. that are not allowed in the room. Mar marijuana. So sing a line, any line you want, and I'll sing any line I want. And this will determine I feel like it. we should sing the same line though. No, no. Don't put me on. Sing your line, I'll sing my line. People can let us know who the better okay. singer is. <sighs> what are you doing? Wait, okay, you're going to go first. Okay. Come, come in. One, two, three, four. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. That was kind of good. <laughs> you go for it. And you took me at my own song. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me adjust the mic. <sighs> but I see myself as more performer. Can you see the tears already? <clears throat> your, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it was all yellow. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, you don't even have... Don't, don't write anything. I know I lost. That was fucking bullshit. No, come on. Give it a go. You didn't even try. Your skin. Oh, yeah, your skin and bones. That wasn't bad. Fuck you. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it is what it is. Someone put ours together and we'll just start to No, it. don't. I can't believe I, I'm that bad. at. I'm, I refuse to edit this podcast. <laughs> I refuse to watch it again. You can comment. I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> but back to me. Cyril Ramaphosa, who Cyril. Um, probably my most intelligent friend I have, one of the most intelligent people I've ever met, called Cyril Ramaphosa. So at the end of the day... <laughs> It's the, it's the end of the day. <laughs> so yeah, Chloe, what do you got about Cyril? What's Big Zari up to? Well, not much because so he. What would it cost for you to suck Cyril's nipple? Wait, is he con? He's consenting. He's like. It's, yeah, it's not sexual assault, Chloe. Jesus, I don't know. That would I cost way want more. Just anyone to suck my nipple. Um, honestly, for the story I did for free. Chase, you heard it here, Cyril. If you want your nip sucked by a, by Chloe, well. Get in touch. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Um. <laughs> Jeez, we love a confident queen. Ooh, yeesh. Okay, but back to said capture. So, <laughs> um, Cyril's basically responded, but not really responded to. So, obviously, the Zondo Commission's come to an end after four years. What did they find? Lots of corruption. Okay. So, they basically, so then they've made recommendations. So, they've, I mean, it's like thousands of pages of reports massive lawyer fees what a what a what a we've all been following along for the past few years 
They've made over 350 recommendations, 202 of which are criminal um, in, and other investigations. Jeez. Which just goes to show, you know, how many cases and like criminal investigations have to happen in this process. It is, it's very crazy. It's um, such a long process as of four years. And this must have cost hundreds of millions of rand. I, I saw somewhere that the average lawyer, and this isn't like all the lawyers, mm. per lawyer, like a high level lawyer in the Zondo Commission, cost up to 38,000 rand a day. Oh. That was their rate. Aina. How wild? Oh, so it says here that it cost taxpayers 800 million rand just for some recommendations to be made and then for police dockets to be yeah. lost so in a few days. Those, I can those, make recommendations for free. <laughs> you know those taxpayer um, you know, amounts that were taken via corruption? Yeah, so now pay us 800. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we must investigate. <laughs> to get them that. back, yeah. yeah. No, I pay my VAT. Say less. All right. <laughs> um, but that's interesting, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> geez, it's Cyril, a, Cyril's basically said... It's a weird um, place to be. Um, we've got to tackle corruption, whatever, like he always says. And they're going to be doing lifestyle audits of everyone in parliament, which would be very interesting. And I think that does need to happen. Jeez. Hey? And which will be made public. And then also whistleblower protection, which is also very important. Well, we had real life lifestyle audits made by, um, what was the club? Saint. Saint oh. Lounge or whatever that club was called. I don't know. I've never been. People like pretending that like they go there every day. They're like, oh yeah, good work. So I'm like, you've never been there. You live in Pretoria. Um, but that was like, that's name and shame. And it just shows like the best way to catch out fucking cheats. And you know, these people, these what are they called? Like flex, the flex culture or people pretending to be yeah. more than they are is to show them they're not because that's their biggest fear. So, Damn. oh boy. I must say that was very entertaining. I and they chose I, such bad photos of The them. one he just said <laughs> his eye I removed. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the energy around it though. This is not me trying to be controversial off the back of this, but there's just, even though those people, what they've done is wrong. And of course it's like, it just felt weird that people were so excited for that stuff and they're like post another and it was like oh it's just like very i don't know maybe i'm <clears throat> that's fair maybe i'm just too jaded but anyway i don't, it's like post another guy it's like oh you i know. mean i would i would like to know what their bills were they were probably insane yeah but also Sol penduka who's one well the much funnier half of mac g yeah. And uh, Mac G and Chill. He was just like, how is this any different to you taking money, being using, using a credit card to buy clothes, to go on vacations you can't pay for, to buy alcohol? It's just like a different form of credit. Yeah. Um, and you're like, chances are all those people laughing at those people yeah. are also not in great financial situation. She's just the average human being, you know? So Fair. that's why I found her was weird. It was like, this just doesn't feel right because... Ah, just because they, you know, spending money on booze and being idiotic doesn't mean. I mean, that's their life. Fair. I might be bipolar. I, I, I offer a lot of different. No, um, I, ha I honestly <laughs> hadn't thought about it that way. Actually, I just thought that they were sort of chasing up with these people, and they were not offering any form of payment, which is kind no. of like like a new form of debt collecting. Sure. Like imagine if like massive debt collecting firms just started posting pictures of people. Yeah. It would kind of be the same thing. Yeah. But I, I suppose that the whole shame is it is tied into partying, paying for drinks, being yeah. stupid to buy bottles at the and, club. And that sort of like consuming beyond your means. Yeah. It's true. But I don't know. I didn't like the energy, but we'll, we move on as they say. Mm. Wow. That was actually so much lamer than I thought. Well, maybe, maybe people love that stuff. I like, they were also being made out to be prisoners, like most one or like criminal. I was like, well, maybe you are a criminal, but anyway. <laughs> Besides the point. But so talking about people who are most wanted, I found this interesting. Like, how does this happen? Right. 12 prisoners escaped from a prison in Pumalanga and they disarmed a guard took his guns or actually two gun two guards guns and made a run for it and only two of them have been found you know like how does this stuff happen well i'm not convinced that pumalanga is a real place <laughs> never <laughs> seen it Jury's still out. <laughs> but i mean like couldn't point to it like so you've got a lot of people in custody yeah. 12 of them 
escape. Yeah. How many they like, get to? Yeah. yeah so ten people are, numbers. and these people who are in there, it's not like petty crimes. Like these are very dangerous. What people are they in there for? Run. I think one of them is he's facing a life sentence for rape. Oh. So these are really not people you want out. I just sort of think, Yuck. how does this happen? No. Like how how does this happen? How mm. how do you let these people go? Or how did they escape, sort of, from prison? Is that a generator or a motorbike? A I want to fucking kill this one neighbor. I <laughs> honestly, if he wasn't big, that's why I'm on fucking creatine. So one day when I see him, I can just beat the shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe does creatine it, so influence your mood? I feel like I get crazy. I get crazy in this place. No. But no, I just like people with motorbikes. That what is he? Is he warming it up? Like he what is. is he doing? Yeah. Like, why do you need to warm it up? That's a good question. I've actually never questioned that. But people do tend to warm their motorbikes oh, up. And, but don't have... They just sort of caress them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, also don't speak to car people about this. Like, wow, don't you know? The V12. People are very, very touched when you come for um, motorbikes, motorcycles. This is noise pollution. No, <laughs> there's another. I'm con- I'm convinced that one of our neighbors drives like a school bus or some shit like that, and he'll start it up at like six a.m. in the morning, and it's like, and <laughs> sorry, I don't know what that was. It's a Land uh, oh, Cruiser. Wait, you like, literally saw it the other day. You're like, that's a nice car. I am elaborating for story effect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this guy, for, you, this always happens that we hear it and it's super loud in our ears. And then, and then no you can't hear it, it on, on the mics, and people yeah. are like, these people are insane. But yeah, <laughs> prison is uh, not a good time. Speaking of criminals, Springbok fly half Alton Yankees comes clean. Not literally, um, but he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and oh boy, what a what a surprise! What a roller coaster we were on yeah. there. I mean, come I, on I was now. just being sarcastic. Okay. That was the worst lie ever. Everyone knew. Everyone could see. It was like all the facts were there. And uh, but he's eventually admitted to having his affair, which is hilarious because the physio had just like a day before like doubled down that there was no affair, <laughs> and so it's 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 trickier than yeah, one thought. Yeah, because we we saw her. On TV? No, no, no. I was, I was just her? joking. No, uh, I think she's been removed. Or maybe we did see her. But um, uh, it's weird because now Alton has fumbled the Springbok bag. His mistress is irritated and his wife has left him. Has she left Actually, him? I don't even... You know, it's, it's, it's so dehumanizing what we do. We've spent too much time out of the pod. This is just a poor family going through the most. But we'll clip the part before that and put it on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Muchos views. I just thought it was interesting that he initially said, Oh, she's just a good friend. You because can't, no. isn't that always the excuse? Yep. Do you think friendship is impossible between men and women, heterosexual men and women? No, it's not impossible, obviously. Who's your best guy friend? You. And look how that's going. <laughs> no, I think that. I think that it makes more sense if you start to become friends with the guy when they're in a relationship. I normally find that that's when the best friendships with guys happen. Because you can't be involved with them sexually. That's interesting. We'll move on from here because it looks like Chloe was doing a good job of making my point. No, I, don't, I, I mean, I, obviously, I think men and women can be friends. Um, yeah. Another hot take from me. Wow. <laughs> Killing it here. I honestly think there's something wrong with me because I just feel manic. <laughs> like completely. What's going on through your head? Maybe it's a creatine. I don't know. I don't know. Sam's also taken up a new interest in snakes. And we spent probably three hours last night watching snake videos. I didn't know how serious the snake problem was in Cape Town. With Cape Cobras, Puff Adders, Wormslung, Puffies. Um... It's scary. And I now jump when you see the holes when you're walking on trails or trail running. That's ah, And I make a loud noise when I run because they can't smell, they can taste. So, Harry Potter. And they can feel the vibrations. Yeah, and the vibrations are you thud there. Yeah. Boom, boom. That's also another reason I'm on the Creo. So the stay. But yeah, it's like, no, if you get, you get bitten, what are you going to do? I mean, hopefully get to a uh, hospital fast enough. 
Kev, are you running by yourself? Have your phone on you. That's very important. Yeah. Tell me about it. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's a terif- It's a cold world, terrified world we're living in. Speaking of our TikTok brethren, TikTok stars in Nigeria are about to be whipped 20 times after mocking a government official. Damn. Sometimes you read the news and you're just like, what? How is this possible? Yeah, like what is going on in Nigeria with that? That's even remotely something punishable by law. Yeah, and it's not like they're like, oh, he's got a small dick. It was literally, they were like, they mocked him for a uh, governor for land grabbing, corruption, and sleeping on the job. And I mean, he, so he also li- known as being like a South African politician or ANC member. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, he's literally been found to be corrupt. So yeah, there's video, inf- it, 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 video information, video, what is it called? Footage. No, video information. <laughs> There is no clear and uh, conclusive evidence to overturn your on-field decision. <laughs> Whatever that was, proceed. <laughs> You're on camera now. Oh. Like, how can they be punished for defamation if what they're teasing him for is true? Yeah. And in such, and then they also have to pay something like 20 pounds and then like clean the court or something like that for... It was something weird, like, and, a, and clean uh, the court premises for thirty days, bro. Man, that's weird. But it's 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 what it is, you know. But where do those it's like bizarre. where do those Afrikaans TMO people come from? Like, there is no clear. I think about them a lot. I'm like, they should have a camera on them when they speak, so we can see who's making these decisions. Mm, I don't know. I'm talking about rugby. No, mm, no. I just love doing an Afrikaans accent. Yeah. Uh, our next topic here is to talk about Kanye West, but I couldn't give less of a shit about Kanye West. Fair. Um, he's not a good person. The things he says are hurtful to many communities across racial and cultural lines. So I, I honestly think he's, he's literally like, uh, he's, he's, he's Kardashian and it wasn't their fault. I don't think they're great either, but he will do a- anything to stay yeah, culturally and, relevant or yeah. and the whole thing is he hides behind the like pseudo intellectual same thing yes, as like yes. Kyrie Irving and them like we're pretending to be but it's not it's actually just like <sighs> very and, I, and just because like he he's released good music doesn't mean you don't have to stop listening to Kanye West music I think that's ridiculous but to also just like continually continuously like support him or share his views or think his views are great because he's a good musician is also is as is as crazy town well that's that then that's the way cheerio yee yee remember when I said that yeah he thought his name was (laughs) yee yee praise Um, yee praise yee you know he's a piece of shit yee yee what I had another thing that we want to talk about is Twitter and Elon is now workshopping something where it's called uh, Twitter Blue. Mm-hmm. And you can buy a blue tick for as little as $8 a month. So you What's get that, that in blue? rands? Like 160 uh, rand. Yeah, a little bit less. 200 bucks, something like that. That's the dumbest thing ever. I know. It's the, the tick is supposed to be cool. And now it's like you can buy it for 160 Wait, like, rand. Yeah, it like makes someone legitimate. Yeah. You know, like that's... When Algorithmic tick, I'm validation. Like, they yeah. must be speaking the truth. There must Come be on. something. No, because previously the tick's been used to verify the That's way the I thing. saw it. Is, is yeah. no, it's if you exist outside of online spaces and would need your identity verified. So yeah. if you're a singer, if you're a dancer, like that's where you'll see people. It's not just about the size of your account. Like you'll see massive streamers or people who have grown up going through social media. They don't have blue ticks yeah, because they're known on that platform and there's no one else as big as them. But if I'm uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Or like a journalist without yeah. that big of a following, they'll... Also, like, you'll see, like... I don't know where I was going with my Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> reference, but if you're waiting for something, there's nothing. I'm just a bad dude in it. Um, you know, there's no. also, like, massive accounts that are, like, fan accounts, which are obviously... They're not impersonating them because they'll say it's a fan account, but they've got big numbers, but obviously they wouldn't be verified yeah. because it's not Caitlyn Jenner. They're yeah, just the parody, Jenner parody accounts or something. Yeah. No, whatever. What but else is I, happening? I just think that that's so dumb. But and what else is Elon happening Musk. on Twitter? Hmm? What else can you do on Twitter? 
Is he making it new? He's firing. Oh yeah, he's saying firing all the liberals. Oh yeah. Well, apparently he's going to be firing a lot of people who actually work at Twitter. Good. Um, you can be able to post longer videos to Twitter. Oh. I didn't even. Oh, now I'm going to have a crippling porn addiction. I just gotten over it. <laughs> Here we I go was going again. To, I was going somewhere else with that. Oh, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say I didn't even know that like you would watch vid- like that many videos on Twitter. No, just not that many. Just a few. Oh, just, just a, a few, few of the best creators ones. around here. Um, and then also, if you verified, it'll um, give you priority ranking. So it'll boost your content. Like if someone searches something that you've talked about, you'll be boosted, like in relation to other users. Who gets boosted? You do. Who? The Twitter blue user gets oh. boosted. <laughs> what? I know, He's like, we're so going to make it democratic, but. I mean, I don't really money. care because I don't use Twitter. Yeah. So. As long as they keep the OnlyFans queens on it, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, yo. There's also a lot of unrest in Britain. Well, not unrest, just political madness. <laughs> what did she say? I'm, I'm not a quitter. I'm, I'm a fighter, not a quitter. <laughs> Next day. <laughs> Pure, gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Liz, she couldn't, you know. Flip. The queen, how long did the queen live for? 94 years or something? Liz Truss couldn't even do two months. What a bee. <laughs> I saw some people saying that she lasted, she didn't even last as long as Kim Kardashian's first marriage, <laughs> which is like infamously short. So, oh, to that Chris guy, the yeah. bas- uh, football player. Or <laughs> he said bastard. I was like, the hey, bastard. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, no, it's, it's also like those House of Commons or like parliamentary meetings, even in South Africa, they just turn into like roast battles. And I'm like, yeah. these guys are like written jokes that they are doing. And I'm like, this is why the world is like fucked because these are the like people in charge of legislation. And he spent the whole morning writing Liz Truss, like, <laughs> Short jokes. I know. Anyway. I saw, well, I didn't even know Liz Truss was on her way out. And then I thought people were just like bullying her online saying, what will last longer, Liz Truss or this head of lettuce? Mm. And I was like, shame, mm. that's horrible. Like she's just come in, like this just feels wrong the next day she's out. Yeah, well, Rishi <laughs> Sunak like, oh. is now the in cucumber, um, what's it called, president <laughs> in, of the world. <laughs> He's the incumbent. Um, no, he is, isn't he in? Isn't he sworn in? I, I think that they have to vote again, surely. Oh, I don't know. So, yep, stick with us. Stick this is with why kids. we're informative-ish. <laughs> we're also now completely sure about what's going on. So. Apparently, creatine impre- increases your brain function. Oh, everyone take a shot <laughs> every Stop. time Sam says creatine on this podcast. You do have like a bulging vein on your one. <laughs> Look at that. Which one? Yeah, there. Where, where is it? Is it there. on? Yeah. Yeah. It's Jesus. called, I think flexing is called mugging. You're mugging me off. I think this has been the wildest podcast we've done. It's in just a been while. unhinged. It's we been... just have to like shake out the cobwebs, you know. Do you think we should be on like a dating app like Hinge? Why? I don't know. Just to keep things interesting. Or... Just, um, huh? <laughs> Speaking of keeping things interesting, there have been a lot of terror threats around South Africa. It was a couple of weeks ago, uh, the US came out and said, US embassy came out and said, there's a terrorist act about to happen in Santon. And like gay people were like, we ain't scared of nothing. We came out to like conservative Afrikaans families. <laughs> we can survive your <laughs> fake threats and slurs, B. Um, and then it didn't happen. And then it was also like a Nick Rabinovitz. They were like, because he's Jewish. I think they were like, we're going to attack the, the show. And then obviously his show just went viral and sold out. And that's awesome for him. But yeah. The, so the... The U.S. warned of a possible terror attack, and then they were like, ISIS is here. So Durban businessman, I won't say his name because this was a News 24 thing and they're bad at journalism, and three of his associates are accused of providing support to ISIS. And him and two other men were arrested in 2018 for being behind a series of bomb... Why why are they on the streets? From being (laughs) behind a series of bomb attacks in Durban. Um, And now the U.S. Treasury has imposed a sanction on the four of them. Like any good News 24 article. Or Chloe, you can't say his name. Or Hoover. You can't say his name. Why not? Is it Allegedly. like Voldemort? Oh, sorry. He's going to come and bomb us here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst way to That's go. That's crazy, man. 
Shit. Shit, man. That's crazy. <laughs> How long do we usually do this for? I am tired. <laughs> I am ready for a wellies to do's. <sighs> we must talk about sports, I suppose, being the 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 the, the, the South African <laughs> nation. <laughs> <laughs> Let me actually. I've got something. I've got show and tell for sports. You, I don't know. You keep it going. <laughs> you chat, chat to your camera. You know, just form a relationship. With, with, form a relationship. I'll be back. <laughs> well, just chat to <laughs> I don't know what I, what to chat about. I don't know what Sam is getting. He's walking off in his pink Crocs. <laughs> Are you coming back? Oh, this podcast. He's walking back over now. Oh, I don't know what he's bringing. Don't say anything. I'm not saying anything. What we do, we're just talking about what I was doing. Yeah. Just commentary. Yeah. All right, I'm back. So you didn't say, you didn't share any secrets with the cats no. loyalists. Okay, for our sports segment, you know. <sighs> Am I the best player, hockey player in South Africa? Tough to tell. Am I one of the best coaches in the world? Probably. And when you are, answer yes or maybe or no to both of these, princess comes knocking. And as you can see, this does look a bit like the puff adder, the carbon braid. Um, this is actually not the carbon braid hockey stick, so don't ask me for one of those. Uh, but I meant the carbon. It's beautiful. It's sleek. Could kill an intruder. <laughs> and it's a great excuse to get out of the house and play hockey instead of having to, you know, speak to your girlfriend for prolonged hours or, you know, deal with your dad who is still disappointed in you because you played hockey instead of um, rugby. But you don't have concussions or CTE. <laughs> You got a beautiful hockey stick. I don't stick. know what's happened to this podcast. <laughs> well, I was just announcing my uh, sponsorship with Princess Chloe. It's an actual sponsorship, not like the people who said they were going to send you stuff and then never sent you anything. So, I don't know if that was a good princess. or bad. Princess. And it's I'm a princess, so I, I like it. I'm happy to be with the brand. Would you say this has now become serious again, <laughs> um, from being a joke? But yeah, I'm very happy. Would you say that you're a pillow princess? I don't know what that means. Just yes or no. No, and please do not try bring this brand into disrepute, Chloe. <laughs> Can't get you a stick if you continue on like this. Chloe's going to start I'm, playing hockey. I am. I'm so excited. Why did you? What's the most thing you're excited about playing hockey? You said to me. Yeah, listen. Okay, so normally in my normal life, I'm very peaceful. I'm, you know, quite a gentle soul, as some would say. But I do have a lot of pent-up aggression. So the thing I'm looking most forward to is being able to take that out in the hockey field, especially people used to call me chicken elbows because I would just stick them out and just plunge them into people. Plunge them? Yeah. Yuck. I'm, I'm pretty aggressive. So you are nuts, girl. That would be fun. But that is exciting. We're, we're excited. But um, sporting news that's not exciting. Uh, do we call them the pro tiers? I, I mean, it should just be... They should just be class. Of, they're less serious than Netherlands, so maybe we just call them Losers, a bunch okay. of friends that you know um, occasionally wear the same kits as each other and play in these tournaments. Because how we lose to Netherlands is uh, beyond me. Uh, when we beat India, everyone's like, "We're going to win the World Cup," and I'm actually glad we crashed out now because it is the hope that kills you. And it would have been horrible to watch this happen in a semi-final or. <laughs> Um, a final, but it was very depressing mm. watching the and cricket's so much longer than rugby. Even the shortest format, like T twenties, are still like three no, four it's hours. A, it's a big commitment. So it's like to a, sit uh, and, yeah. I was rugby, you just collide for eighty minutes. Awesome, but it was very dis disappointing. And about Mark Boucher, the coach, yeah. he's now stepping down. It was always planned. It's not because he, they've lost that he stepped down. It was planned before. Um, he said he released a statement. We have to try and keep all the players interested in playing for South Africa. I think that's a big question that needs to be answered. Weird. Said Boucher, and I was like, oh, "What a mess!" Like, but, but won't representing your nation yeah. should be the highest honor. And I'm, I'm not shitting on the the players. I think it, it is yeah. such a structural mess, political, 
dog wank. Um, but it's. But I thought people were blaming Bavuma for that yes. loss. And let me make direct eye contact with you idiots who pretend to know cricket. Temba Bavuma did not select himself to be in the team nor to be the captain. So anyone saying why didn't he why didn't he just get over his ego and relinquish the captaincy? Oh, anyway, we'll move past that. Yes, he's had an absolutely disastrous couple of um you Games. know months. He I think he'd be the first to admit it. Did he lead the side quite well in times? Yeah, but there's so many other problems in the setup that you can't blame a player yeah. for th- th- there's so many rotten things it's not Bovuma's fault mm. but we he crashed out of the world cup the scapegoat of course there's Which always is. a goat that escapes and he's it and <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> it's um yeah my friend really thought that was what it was called <laughs> it's it's sad and it just the whole the whole thing of transformation is supposed to make south africa more united and it just does the opposite at the moment so it's very upsetting um, wow, I have given this podcast a full spectrum of emotion today, <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed it, because this has now made me sad. So uh, my heart literally bleeds for Temba Vuma. He seems yeah. like a very nice person. He's a he's a really good cricketer, yeah. And he's just been hamstrung by doing being put in a position that he shouldn't really be in. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you look at it. Fifty overs, awesome. Test cricketer, awesome. That's fine. I don't think anyone has a problem with that. But then why would you? make him a captain of a weakest, his weakest format and send him to the World Cup yeah. with the hope of uh, a nation, so, or the weight of a nation. I, I, I don't wait. And you, Chloe, what's your, what's your nuanced take on this, on the sport you don't watch? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I agree with all the points that you've made. And I think fundamentally, I'm just very fond of him. And it is so heartbreaking to, you know, sort of, I think he, he was saying that he doesn't want to make an emotional decision, which I think highlights, you know, what an impact this has had on him. Like cricket is a massive sport mm. worldwide. It's not just South Africans who have a say yeah, no, in weird. this. And the amount of pressure that he's probably feeling on a position that he was given and that he yeah. hoped he would have done well in, but obviously has sort of let people down. It's very sad. And he, but it's he, not, he has again, to face the music. Like, He's yeah. the one who has to sit alone in the press conference. I feel terrible for him. Yeah. So, and he said like, uh, this is a direct quote, you try and control what gets to you, but unfortunately with social media and what people say to you, it will always get to you. I always, ca- I always try to keep a level head through all the good and bad times. <sighs> Jeez, I feel so. You know, these, these are just human beings. I saw a cool video about like, you guys are bleak about the World Cup, but uh, so are the protests. And I know at the start I was like half trashing them, but I really, I, I do just feel, I feel very sorry for the players because it's a, mm. it's an administrative coaching and just sort of structural issue. Mm. It's got they, they went out there and consistently gave, one hundred percent. So now I have to watch other teams compete. And the breaking news is that the Springboks have dropped below the All Blacks to fourth place in uh, the latest World Rugby rankings, which, fuck, (laughs) was a tough week (laughs) to be a South African supporter. It it was also just a very, like, unentertaining, is that a word, game. It just didn't really grab attention. It's very like, I know I don't know a lot about rugby, but it was very stop-start. It's like they do something, they blow it. They do something, they blow it. They do something, they blow it. Like you can't progress at all. No, uh, and the the second half was a lot better, admittedly, but the first half, I literally was like, well, at one point I was, I think I made a salad. (laughs) What was that about? (laughs) I don't know, but it was very boring. Normally Sam's on his feet pacing, yeah. Screaming at the television. But anyway... Chloe, is it time for overrated, underrated? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? I can't believe it's that part of the show. It feels like we've been doing a 10-hour live stream. No, it feels a long time. Should we do TikTok live streams? I think we should. We should go back on that. There's a lot of things we should do. We should make merch. Well, the merch is designed. We must just get the right person to make it. TikTok lives, I think, will be fun to do. Mm. that Just, was those were very crazy yeah though. we need to get more english people on the tiktok lives it's always afrikaans people fighting on tiktok lives it's I, also it makes me bizarre. anxious when people like request to join attack yeah 
Uh, I'm not looking to have a public FaceTime conversation <laughs> yeah. with someone I don't know. Or you like a live? They're like, "What do you think of Black Lives Matter?" I'm like, "Not today." <laughs> how how I'm, you know I'm speaking to self and by myself? These lights on. What what are you asking big questions? But anyway, overrated or underrated? Matric. Matric is underrated. I personally thought it was the best best year of high school because of fees must fall and other things. I thought it was better than varsity. Um, so yeah, underrated. Would you say that you peaked in matric? Peaked in grade seven when I was head boy. Slow oh. downhill from there. Slow downhill, then kind of in third year, varsity, oh. steep downhill. Steep, it's been rough. Okay. <laughs> 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 Overrated or underrated Twitter? Twitter. <clears throat> Overrated. I, I, it's like, yeah. it's toxic. But uh, some sort of female entertainers who use the lack of censorship, I, I think they, they're perfectly rated. Awesome. <laughs> overrated or underrated, Bavuma? Bavuma. Bavuma is underrated. I feel so sorry for him and the position he's been put in. I think he's carried himself very well in the, in the press and in dealing with it all. I think he's a very underrated human being, a good test cricketer, a good ODI cricketer, but ultimately not an international like T20 batsman. Goal to have him on the podcast one day. That would be so cool. I just said he wasn't a good batsman <coughs> at T20 level. Okay. Yeah. Not his best format. Okay. Okay. Overrated or underrated princess hockey? Prince. Oh boy. <laughs> This blade tells you all you need to know. <laughs> Underrated. Princess, a Dutch brand. It's big in South Africa as well. Um, I love it. What more is there to be said? I, I did a hard pitch in the middle of the podcast for it. And this, you talk about five stars. This is seven. So <laughs> I nearly said something that you probably couldn't say in the same sentence when repping a reputable brand yeah. like princess but hey we're all learning and for those of you who don't know sam is also a hockey player and hockey coach i thought i what i thought that Maybe was like for like new listeners they oh, wouldn't know that i i, I would i'm a i'm a hockey coach i'm i wouldn't say i'm a hockey player at He's the a moment hockey player. yeah um but i think that's it yo this was that's the this show this was more chaotic than, than usual. usual if this is your first time listening <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but I, I had fun. No, I and usually that. when we have fun, people have fun as well. So thank you very much. If you can send Temba Bavuma a positive Instagram DM, please do. Um, save your negative reviews for us. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. don't we, do we will see you next week. It's good to be back. We're going to do a big push before December and people get offline and into brothels um, and okay. Plessenberg Bay. There are lots of sharks there, which I'm excited about. So I don't have to feel pressure to swim. Okay. I didn't know we were going to play, but... We're right. not. But you, we're mentally there. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.